Welcome TK! It is art time and this week since we're focusing on Mother's Day I think mommies need more than just a card and some songs to make her feel special on Mother's Day. What do you think? You know something that lots of mommies like? It smells really good. It's very very pretty outside makes you just feel so happy. Flowers, you got it. Flowers make Miss Goo feel happy. I love flowers. And I bet you your mommies do too. Do you think it's a good idea to make some flowers and we can give her a bouquet of flowers when, um, when we give her the card and then when we sing her her mommy's gay songs? Yes, I think so too. So what you're going to need is You'll need just a small box, okay? Like a cereal box or a popcorn box or something like that. Um, don't worry, it doesn't have to be nice. We're gonna be cutting it. You're going to need some paper. You can use white paper or color paper. Um, this is going to be the color of your flowers, okay? So if you want it to be your bouquet to be just one color, then you can use one color. If you want it many colors, you can have that. Or if you want to have white, and then you can color inside and make the petals um, all different colors, that'd be fun too, okay? I just don't have any white um, construction paper with me. All right, then you are going to need some markers, okay? Tape scissors, you'll need a bottle, an empty bottle, okay, so like a water bottle or something like that, okay. You will also need, if you have chenille sticks, okay, pipe cleaners are good. If you don't, you can use skewers, okay, and then if you have like colorful beads or little colorful gravel or something, rocks even, to use as weight for this bottle that's going to be turned into a vase later. Okay, so go ahead and gather your materials. And there you go. Okay, and then I'll see you back soon. TK, you have your materials? Okay, so first of all, we're going to use this box right here for our template, okay? So we're gonna open it up. And do you remember at Valentine's Day when we used a lot of, uh, we made a lot of hearts from these? We're going to make hearts and use our hearts to make our flowers too. So I'm going to get a marker and I'm going to draw a heart. If you can draw a heart, you can do it yourself. If not, you can ask somebody to help you. So I'm going to make a curve in just like that. And then I'm going to copy it on this side, just like that, okay? All right, so I'm gonna make one. I'm gonna make another one over here that's a little bit bigger. So and make another a bigger curve. Do you see that? Yeah, it's like half a candy cane, huh? And then the other side. There we go. Okay, so now I have two hearts. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these hearts out. need some help because the cardboard is a little hard so there we go I've got one heart right here and 
I'm going to cut my large part out. Remember, scissors always pointing away from you. Use your other hand to help you rotate the paper, turn it, help you cut. But the scissor hand stays pretty much in one position. Here we go. Okay, I'm done with that. So now you've got two hearts. Now you get to decide. You're going to take your paper and you're going to trace it. So I'm going to put my big heart right here. I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to trace around. I need th at least nine hearts. So I'm going to make, I'm going to try to put as many hearts as I can on this paper. So that's two. Wonder if I can fit another big one. Oh, I can. Okay. That's three. You think I can fit a small one right here? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. So I'm going to trace three, four, and almost. I can almost fit one more right here. Five, and then remember you need at least nine. Okay, so but if you want to make more, nine hearts is going to make three flowers. So if you want to make more than three flowers, just make more hearts. So I'm just going to fill up as many as. I can on my three sheets of paper here. All right, this is my last heart. Here we go. And I have five on here, five on here, and five on here. I have five, ten, fifteen hearts. Okay, next. Now, this project might take us a couple of days, just like the Mother's Day card. Okay, it's a lot of uh, fine motor skills. So today, we're going to stop after we finish cutting everything out. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to start cutting. And I want you to do that too. And once you're done cutting all your hearts, you can call it done for today, and then you can go ahead and pause this video and then come back to it tomorrow when you are ready for the next step, okay? All right, go ahead, make sure you have nine hearts and cut away. Okay, so do you have all your hearts cut out? Okay. Once you do, now you get to decide how you want your flowers to look. You're going to put your hearts into groups of at least three. That means you can have three or you can have four, okay? But if you only have nine hearts, make three groups of three. If you have more than that, then you can have groups of three and groups of four. So I'm gonna see, let's see. Maybe I want the big ones to be one, one flower. Ooh, I'll have, a, I'll have a pink flower that looks like that. Or that's a red flower, Miss Boo. Yep, okay, there's a pink flower. And there's, I'm gonna put all my yellow big ones. See, I have three flowers like that. How about these little ones? How about I make them colorful? Ooh, they're gonna be like that. Okay, did you see how now I have five groups? Five, five flowers, yes, 
Okay, this next part, you may need a an adult to help you, okay? If you have a hole puncher, then you won't. But if you don't have a hole puncher, you will need an adult. Miss Boo does not have a hole puncher, so I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to use one end of my scissors. Do you see where the heart comes together like a V? Okay, I'm going to poke a hole right there. So with my scissors, you see that? I just made a little hole. So I'm going to go and do that to all of my hearts, okay? All right, I am on my last three here. There's my pink and my yellow petal and my red one, okay? So once I've gotten holes in them, now I get to decide what, what color stem I want. Okay, maybe with the red one, how about we'll do a green and how about a purple? And what about an orange for this one? And how about a light orange for this one? And how about a yellow for that one? Okay, so I've given each one their own stem. Now what we're going to do is, you're gonna take the stem and towards the top maybe about about the length of your thumb here. I want you to just turn it around and around so you have you have like a knot right there, okay? Then you're going to take your heart and you're going to push it in here and because there's a knot, it's not going to fall down. You see that? And then put the next one in and one more. There you go, now you've got all three of them. Then at the top, you're going to tur twirl it around to make another knot to keep it in there, see? All right, then you're going to spread the petals out just like that and turn to the back where the, the stem is still long and you'll take your tape, one, two, three, and you're going to tape it together. I'm gonna to tape right there, and right there, and right there to keep it together. And once you pick it up, there's your flower. And you're gonna do the same thing for the rest of your flowers, okay? So, first of all, once again, twirl to make a knot. Put it in, one, two, three. Twirl it again to make another knot on the top. Spread it out so that it's even and beautiful. Turn it over so that you see the stem. And take one, two, three. Got it? Good, all right. So for those of you who don't have chenille sticks at home, you can use skewer sticks or like those takeout chopsticks. And you're just going to do the same thing, okay? So go ahead and 
string it through. Make sure the the pointy end is on is at the bottom. Okay. And then once you get it to sort of the top here, go ahead and spread it out to make your flower. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna tape it one, two, three at the back here. One, two, okay. And then you're going to need another one because you want to tape it to, or a couple more. You're going to now tape the petal to the stick. Okay, so just like that. Tape the petal to the stick. you can have your flowers like this you can have your flowers like that all right now to the next step so now we've got our flowers the next step is you're going to take your water bottle and I have here coconut water so I'm gonna cut the labeling away okay open that up then I'm going to put in my rocks or my beads. I have some beads here. I'm going to put, oh look, at it's a, it's a little bracelet that I am going to cut apart. There we go. Ooh, I like the color. And let's pour it in. Okay. that is yeah. and it helps to make it heavy um, if you have more I suggest you fill it up probably to the middle if not rocks little rocks would work rice beans any of things like that would work okay and now it's time to put your flowers in okay the base and one thing I like to do is I like to kind of twirl it together. You see, I put it together like this. And I'll put that one in there too. There we go. And you see the bottom? I kind of twirl it together. And it makes it stronger. Okay. So, you see that? Mm hmm. There we go. And then I'm going to put it in my base. and then I will rearrange so this yellow needs to be over here just a little okay here we go and let's see let's face it up a little face you up a little okay and face you up a little there we go and you've got your Mother's Day flower vase. And if you would like, you can take your markers and you can draw on here, okay? You can draw whatever you like, make it pretty. I bet mom would love it, okay? There you go. Have fun, happy Mother's Day.